The fate of the 21-year-old sailor accused of setting fire to the USS Bonham Richard is in the hands of a military judge tonight. CBS 8's David Godverton is live at Naval Base San Diego where closing arguments wrapped up today. David? Uh, yes, no cameras are allowed inside the courtroom behind me, but both sides came out swinging today during closing arguments that wrapped up around 11 a.m. This is a bench trial, so there is no jury involved. A single military judge will be deciding this case. Ryan Mays, a 21-year-old sailor, faces life in prison if convicted of arson and hazarding a Navy ship. Prosecutors say Mays was a disgruntled former Navy SEAL candidate who set fire to the Bonham Richard in July of 2020 because he did not like the Navy. They have one witness who says he saw Mays go into the lower V area of the ship right before the fire started. That witness says Mays was wearing blue coveralls. But the defense had their own witnesses who said they saw Mays wearing a green camouflage uniform right after the fire started. Gary Barthel is a military attorney who previously represented Mays. I think the government's argument was based primarily on the circumstantial evidence and the fact that the judge has to use his common sense and reasonable ways of the world in coming to a conclusion on this case. Um, the defense, on the other hand, is saying, hey, the, the government's case is built on, on bias. And they came into this investigation biased. It affected the way they did this investigation. And so it's not credible. The judge uh, stopped deliber deliberating in this case about an hour ago. So we're going to have to wait another day before we get a decision in the case. Back out here live at Naval Base San Diego. If it is a guilty verdict, the case will move into the sentencing phase of the trial. And David, uh, this case really looks to hinge on circumstantial evidence. Is there any physical evidence that ties Mays to that fire? Absolutely none. No physical evidence ties him to the arson fire down there. Uh, one witness did testify that uh, they heard Mays say, quote, it had to be done, I did it, end quote. But his defense team uh, countered that, and uh, they argued that that was a sarcastic statement that Mays made while he was being led away in handcuffs. Case is now in the hands of the judge and David Gofferson and the rest of us. We're on verdict watch. Thanks, David.